On the 7th of May, Indian Navy launched its newest Project 75 Calvary class submarine. INS Vela is the fourth of six Calvary class attack submarine. It's being built by Mazagon Dock Limited MDL, under a technology transfer partnership with French state owned submarine builder Naval Group, formerly known as Direction de Construction Navales Services. DCNS. MDL will now undertake the integration work for different onboard machinery and sensors, after which the vessel will begin its sea trials. Naval Group's SVP of the International Industrial Development, Massey Bougeot, said, Naval Group is proud to reiterate its long-term commitment to India. The P-75 program is the key element of the strategic partnership built in domain of submarine building over the last decades between India and France. This launch represents a new milestone for this unique and one-of-a-kind industrial program and illustrates the self-reliance of the Indian Navy. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes INS Vela Project 75 Calvary class submarine. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank or aircraft and three days of premium account time as a bonus. The strength of the Indian Navy's submarine fleet has declined to an alarming level from a total of 21 submarines in the 1980s to only 17 submarines at present, which include 15 conventional powered ones, one indigenous Ari Hunt class nuclear ballistic missile sub, and one Russian Akula class submarine, which is on lease. The situation is made worse by the fact that the Indian Navy is operating with half of its submarine fleet strength. This is mainly because most of the vessels are pretty old and going through midlife upgrades to extend their life. Chinese submarine force has expanded rapidly and possess around 65 subs. There have been several instances of Chinese submarines moving into the Indian Ocean. The main motive behind India acquiring these new submarines is to counter the Chinese force. The Calvary class is a class of diesel electric attack submarines based on the Scorpion class submarines being built for the Indian Navy. The class and submarines take their name from the first submarines inducted in the Indian Navy. On the 6th of October 2005, India signed a series of contracts for the transfer of technology to construct six submarines in Mazagon Dock Limited with Aramis the supply of equipment and services with the government of France and supply of SM-39 Exorcet missiles with MBDA. The entire contract is valued at $4.16 billion. The deal included a 30% offset clause and the submarines were to be delivered over five years starting from 2012. The Scorpion design won the deal because of the capability to fire Exocet anti-ship missiles and an agreement on the air-independent propulsion. There were plans to incorporate Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, developed air-independent propulsion system onto the last two submarines, but this was canceled due to delay in development. A plan to buy three more submarines under the options clause was canceled in September 2016. The Calvary class is capable of anti-surface warfare, anti-submarine warfare, intelligence gathering, mine laying as well as surveillance. It has a length of 67.5 meters or 221 feet, height of 12.3 meters or 40 feet and displaces around 1,615 tons when surfaced and 1,775 tons when submerged. The submarine can operate at a depth of 300 meters. The hull, fin, and hydroplanes are designed for minimum underwater resistance. 
The vessels are manufactured with a special high tensile steel so that it can withstand high stress and hydrostatic force. All the equipment are mounted on shock absorbing cradles to lower acoustic signature, making the class a very silent one. Due to its stealthy nature, it's hard to detect and track. Calvary class vessels have four MTU 12 volt 396 SE84 diesel engines and has 360 battery cells. These power a silent, permanent magnetized propulsion motor. It can reach a top speed of 20 knots or 37 kilometers per hour when submerged and a maximum speed of 11 knots or 20 kilometers per hour when surfaced. The submarine has a range of 6,500 nautical miles or 12,000 kilometers at 8 knots 15 kilometers per hour when surfaced and a range of 550 nautical miles or 1,020 kilometers at 4 knots 7.4 kilometers per hour when submerged. The Calvary class can accommodate up to 18 heavyweight torpedo or anti-ship missile or 30 sea mines. INS Vela, like other Calvary vessels, will be equipped with SUT torpedo and Exocet anti-ship missile. The SUT is a wire-guided heavyweight torpedo manufactured by Atlas Electronic. The SUT torpedo is designed to operate in both deep and shallow water and against surface and underwater targets. The SUT has a range of 15 nautical miles at 18 knots or 8 nautical miles at 35 knots. The SUT is already fitted aboard the Shishumar class submarines of the Indian Navy. It's expected that in the future these submarines will be equipped by Varunastra, a heavyweight torpedo developed in India by the DRDO. Exocet, built by MBDA, is a sea skimming, subsonic, solid fueled anti ship missile. It uses inertial guidance for mid course and active radar for the last leg of the flight. It travels at an altitude of only 2 meters above the sea surface, making it hard to detect and intercept. Due to its flight profile, it's most likely that the missile may not be detected till only about 6 kilometers from the target, leaving very little time to react. The latest variant is powered by a solid propellant booster and a turbojet motor enabling it to hit targets at a distance of 180 kilometers or 110 miles. INS Vela also has C-303S anti-torpedo decoys for self-defense. INS Vela will add much-needed teeth to Indian submarine force. The Indian Navy had planned to build 24 new submarines. This endeavor is divided into three parts, six Calvary submarines to be manufactured under the Project 75, six more subs to be built under Project 75I India, and 12 to be manufactured indigenously. With INS Vela, the fourth Calvary submarine being launched, the first part is working out. It remains to be seen how the other parts work out going forward. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.